Hello, Roberto. I am with Roberto from Cefla, Italy. Roberto, how are you? Fine, fine, Apertino. Thank you very much. I'm okay. It's good to see you after a long time on the Zoom call. Exactly. This is uh, now the way to make uh, people uh, interact, uh, phone and this uh, video conferences. This is, a, this is a benefit of digital nature communication. Exactly. The ongoing coronavirus pandemic has disrupted the way of com that normally company function. How, how are you coping up with it? Because you are a large enterprise. Uh, in first, uh, uh, I think uh, like uh, most of the companies out on the market, uh, we have been uh, hit uh, quite uh, hard by this uh, situation. Uh, we never thought of, of, be, of being uh, in a situation of having to manage such a difficult situation like this. Uh, in Chefla, of course, uh, we have reacted uh, fast uh, to the ongoing situation. We have uh, started uh, to uh, keep uh, people at home, uh, the ones that were able to work at home in remote uh, smart working. Uh, luckily, the investments that we did uh, in the past uh, years uh, on providing uh, to all uh, our uh, employees uh, with laptops uh, has helped us uh, on this achievement. Uh, and I have to say, we have been able to operate uh, within the laws and the regulation that the Italian government has given us. But let's say we are able to continue our activities on being in contact with the customers from a commercial point, but most important from an after sales point of view. Something really hit is the supply chain, I believe. How are you addressing this challenge? Because you have your parts, you have your parts, around the world. Starting from the, the beginning of your question, uh, when we started seeing the situation uh, evolving so quickly, one of the first moves that we did uh, within the company was to try to outsource uh, from our uh, supply chain as many uh, parts or critical parts so that we, we reckon being critical to have uh, stock within our company to, um, let's say, navigate in this very difficult moment in, uh, in, uh, with a certain assurance. Uh, so this is the first move that we did uh, starting from uh, uh, February, which was, uh, again, um, ordering more parts that we needed from our suppliers, uh, critical parts, uh, to uh, avoid uh, being left without in the future. That was the first move that we did. The second one, we are working with a very close network of precious suppliers in, that are very, uh, which, which have got a proximity to Cefla in Imola and Pesaro. And so this network, uh, when also for them, they're gonna be able to restart should be able to give us uh, the delivery in the lead time that we require so that we are not, uh, again, this is not depending on us, but it's depending on the government uh, rules and regulations which uh, are imposing us uh, still up to date uh, to be closed until the 14th of uh, April. And uh, hopefully we can start going back uh, on production. We don't know. It depends again uh, on what is going to be the regulations of the government. In any case, uh, um, we are ready from that point of view. We are continuing uh, to ship uh, spare parts uh, all around the world because this is something that the government uh, within the rules and regulations that they have imposed uh, to businesses is something that we can do. And of course, uh, we are supporting all our customers uh, through the uh, remote uh, um, capabilities uh, of uh, teleservice uh, and uh, this is another thing that Chefla has taken an advantage uh, thanks to the investments that we did in the past years uh, with the uh, Ubiquo platform, the Ubiquo service packs, uh, we are able to monitor thanks to the Seamaster or the big lines with the Sea Tracker the, uh, what the lines are doing. In terms of installation, uh, there are more difficulties because uh, what we normally do is we are able to have uh, the mechanical installation of the lines uh, done by local um, uh, field engineers. But most of the time, uh, the commissioning uh, 
the testing and the setup of the line is happening with expert Italian technicians. And now the fact that they're not able to travel is of course affecting our capability to close certain um, installations by arriving to the commission. For simpler lines or simpler standalone machines, we have already started being able to commission with the teleservice the machine by having the uh, customer operator on the machine and helping him to guide him on to doing the um, commissioning by itself. Uh, I have to admit that this is, we are capable of doing it with standalone machines or very simple lines and not with the complex line that we do normally and usually sell. So do you have at this moment a dedicated call center where a customer can come back to you with certain problems and your engineers are online with digital solutions? We had it already. It was not something that we created for the COVID-19 emergency. It was already established in our company. It's our, uh, what we call the control tower uh, of our um, service uh, um, function which is constantly monitoring uh, all the lines around the world that are connected either through the uh, sea tracker or the sea master so that's something that has been uh, already implemented since the last uh, couple of years uh, and now has been a very beneficial for us uh, to manage the situation within the COVID-19 emergency okay that's a really good move uh, Robert I will ask I have to ask this question because uh, you know this is a B2B business is, cannot be successful without trade shows because trade show is, uh, the, the, I think, very, very important point, the marketplace. Most of the important shows in 2020 postponed or canceled. How do you think this will affect the business and especially the branding? And are you planning to do any alternate are you coming up with an alternate solution or bank brand promotional strategy solution like an online Tesla Life or something like that? Yes. Um, okay. A answering your question, I give you my point of view regarding exhibitions for 2020. Uh, I think uh, personally, this is my personal opinion, that uh, uh, all the exhibitions uh, within 2020 or at least uh, within a vaccine for the COVID-19 will be found, will inevitably be canceled because that exhibition is a form of aggregation, is a form of massive aggregation that within the logics of managing this emergency that we are, we are facing cannot be released even considering a second part of the year. And I think, again, is in personal opinion that uh, all the exhibitions that the various governments around the world will prohibit uh, to have uh, such gatherings uh, uh, for uh, uh, exhibitions. Going uh, uh, on your question, uh, yes, uh, uh, exhibitions for us uh, are important. I would say certain exhibitions. In the last uh, five or six years, uh, Within our strategy in Cefla uh, finishing, we have tried to carefully select which are the exhibitions that give us a better return on investment. The exhibitions are costly. The cost of contact that we have from the exhibitions are very high. And so we have to uh, be careful on selecting really the exhibitions that are most valuable for our brand and our technology and our company. Said this, uh, parallel to, I have to admit, uh, reducing our presence uh, at exhibitions uh, around the world, uh, we have uh, grown uh, on our visibility within the uh, digital platforms that are available on the market. And uh, today, even more, uh, considering what you said, uh, the inability to participate to exhibitions, uh, uh, we have uh, enriched our presence in the digital uh, marketing, uh, with digital marketing tools. Uh, we have uh, decided to, um, let's say, work primarily on the LinkedIn type of business, and uh, we have uh, established uh, 
what we call the, the Italian Finishing School e-channel, where we are, let's say, frequently posting uh, various uh, arguments that we think uh, customers could find very beneficial. I give you some examples. Um, we have uh, a um, we are we are posting uh, the um, uh, Edward Raffini, which is the our lab manager, tips on how to set up uh, the best machines uh, based uh, on his experience uh, that uh, he has gathered with so many years uh, on managing our lab. We are addressing. Uh, um, um, the frequently asked questions uh, of our uh, in our industry in our process of uh, finishing so we are uh, also um, enriching and showing to our customers uh, all the capabilities thanks to the obico service packs uh, that can give them that assurance uh, of having chefla service uh, being able to monitor their lines uh, and try to work with that famous uh, predictive maintenance uh, and having the customers working constantly. We are um, showing uh, um, what is the experience uh, that we have gained, uh, our patents uh, and how they can be beneficial for the customers in terms of reduction of cost of processing. So what we are trying to do with this platform and LinkedIn is not the only one, we are also pushing hard on our website uh, and with mailing to our customer uh, database. What we want to do in this moment uh, that we are all uh, at home is to uh, give the chance to our customers to receive as much information, as much sharing of precious information that uh, all the team of Chefla and Chefla Finishing is a very big team of experts, uh, people that know the business of uh, coating, finishing, uh, wrapping, uh, and, uh, and all this type of uh, techniques uh, to uh, enhance uh, the material that we could share to the market uh, in a moment that everybody is blocked. So people can learn, people can uh, enrich their knowledge, uh, people can make us questions and we are replying to them. So it's a, it's a community based on our experts uh, that are putting their experience uh, at the availability of the market. Well, I uh, understand. Do you, my last question would be, do you propose to organize any online activities for your existing clients? Uh, that is an option that we are now thinking about it because uh, as, uh, as a first, as a starting point uh, with this one, we are now working uh, as a priority to launch uh, the Italian Finishing School online. That's something that... Uh, was a formula much appreciated by a lot of customers that were sending their operators uh, to, to our um, headquarters in Imola, and they were physically participating to the, chef, to the, to the Italian finishing school uh, that we have set up. Now we are talking about uh, organizing uh, it uh, uh, on an online base uh, so that we could uh, exactly with the same formula, but not having the, the, the physical presence uh, of the, of the people in the uh, class, uh, we could do it with a virtual class. The second step, uh, the laboratory, is something that we are doing. Just for your information, we have already experimented very successfully the pre-acceptance of particular machines like digital printing machines uh, by doing it uh, video. So we had uh, our um, base uh, jet set uh, in Bergamo with the machine that needed to be accepted. We had the customer on the other side of the, of the network, let's say the virtual network uh, in two locations because they had two locations and we were able to do the uh, pre-delivery acceptance with our engineer with the microphone explaining what he was doing in English and showing with a camera, high resolution camera, what was happening with the machine. And we arrived to the to the acceptance of the machine with this uh, instrument. So this has opened us uh, the doors uh, to eventually being able to run a Chefla Live uh, in a digital form. And that's something that we are definitely expo exploring 
in a moment of difficulties, as I said, the channel of the digital channel is our only way to communicate. When you said video, do you intend to, do you plan to promote more YouTube videos to make such video that can help a customer to look at the video and come, come understand some solutions? Uh, well, we have uh, on we have got our YouTube channel linked to our website. We are doing a lot with also, as I said, the platform uh, of uh, LinkedIn and the uh, web mail that we are sending to the customers, then readdressing them to our to our website. All of this uh, is uh, with the multitude of videos that we have uh, created years and also another instrument that we find very beneficial in this moment is our um, <clears throat> cycloner. So the software on which we are uh, simulating uh, the functioning of the line with all the parameters that we are able to uh, show to the customers and, and uh, modify to show them the cadence, how it changed. In fact, the cycloner at the end of it uh, gives me as an output a video that I can again post uh, on LinkedIn website or mailing. That could be a virtual Chefla Live now discussion at the moment. Right. I, I think we should end it now. Uh, all I can say, my good wishes to Chefla team, to you, to Barbara, to Chiara, Valentina, all, everybody there. Take care. Uh, all the team in Imola, stay safe, stay at home. And again, we will come back to work in full force. And uh, thank you so much for being with me today on Zoom. Thank you to you. Thank you for, very much for your greetings to all our team. And uh, we hope uh, we'll be able to recover from this emergency in the earliest uh, possible. And that we can all go back working and doing what we like doing the best. Bye-bye.